This is the jointer. We use the jointer to give our solid lumber a new fresh edge. Most of the time our lumber comes in with edges that aren't cleaned up or straightened. So once we get our work pieces to a manageable size, we can run them through the jointer. The minimum length that can be run through the jointer is 12 inches. If the board is shorter than 12 inches in length, we cannot run it through the jointer. The joiner is also used only for solid lumber. We don't run plywood or particle board or MDF or any other type of sheet good material through the joiner. The joiner has a guard over the cutter head. This guard should always be in place. The guard will move itself out of the way as the workpiece comes through the machine. You should never open up the guard or move the guard out of the way while you're using the machine. The guard should always be in place. There are four main parts to the joiner that you need to know. We have the guard, we have the fence, we have the infeed table, and we have the outfeed table. The infeed table and the outfeed table are exactly what their names describe them as. The infeed table is where the wood comes into the blade, the outfeed table is where the wood goes out of the blade. The outfeed table sits even with the blades on the cutter head. The infeed table sits lower than the cutter head. You as students should not make any adjustments to this machine. If we were to take off more material each pass or less material each pass, that adjustment would be made through the infeed table. The infeed table is the only one that gets adjusted. But again, you as students should not make any adjustments on this machine. Also, the fence bevels. We can turn it to different angles so that when we run it through the joiner, our board will come out with a chamfer or an angle on the edge. We don't need to turn the fence on this machine. We have other machines in the shop that do a better job of creating a bevel or a chamfer on our lumber. You should never use this machine or any other machine in the shop in reverse direction. Our main objective when using this machine is to keep our stock or our lumber tight against the fence and tight into the table. We want to do our best to prevent our lumber or our stock from coming away from the table as we run that through. Our hands have very specific positions they need to be in. Our front hand, we use our thumb to kind of walk over the workpiece, and our forefingers to push tight into the fence and down into the table. Our back hand gets balled up and our thumb extended, and we push from the back upper corner. We hold in both positions, we push it through, after we get through the blade, our main focus needs to make sure that we're pushing down tight to the table on the outfeed table. If we let go and push on the back side and go back to the front side, we'll get little dips in there and it won't be a nice straight edge. Make sure you have nice consistent pressure as you work through the machine. Make sure you don't take too much material off at once. The machine is only designed to take off no more than one eighth of an inch at a time. While using this machine, we need to apply the four inch margin of safety. That means keep our fingers four inches away from the cutter head or other moving parts.
To help us remember the four inch margin of safety on this machine, our fingers should never be lower than the fence. They should never be closer to the blade than the back of the guard. And they should never be closer to the blade than the front of the guard. This guard area, our hand should not be, and our hand should never be lower than the fence. The operator's position for this machine is standing in front of the machine over here. When we run our workpiece through this machine, we need to walk with our lumber or our stock. We don't stand in one position and stretch over the blade. We need to be walking with it. So we would get lined up in the operator's position, our hands in their correct positions, and we would push it through and walk with it. Walk with it until it's all the way through the table and you're to the other side. We never want to run our stock through the machine against the grain. That would be taking our piece and running it against the grain. The grain is the lines that you see in the lumber. With the grain would be the way the lines are on the board. And against the grain would be cutting against that. We only cut with the grain, and for the most part, that is the length of the wood. With pieces of lumber that are shorter than the fence, we lay them, we set them on the fence and get them ready to go just like a normal piece of lumber. We put our push stick in a place that's easy, accessible for us. We do the same type of hand placements not allowing our hand to get closer than the blade, than the guard is. As our workpiece gets over the blade, we move our hand around the machine. We grab our push stick with the back hand while we're stopped. We put our push stick on the back corner and finish off the cut while walking with our workpiece. We need to use extreme caution when jointing small pieces of lumber, there's a, you have a higher chance for injury. This machine could be used for giving our work pieces a new face. We could lay our work piece flat on the table, feed it through the machine. This would not be a safe practice in our shop. We have a planer that will do that job for us and give us a new fresh face on our lumber. We're ready to run some stock through the machine. Before you use this machine, read the warning labels in the owner's manual. The warning label is right down here, opposite side of the on-off switch. Reading the warnings during this video does not count as reading the warnings. You will need to read them again before you use the machine. You also have a warning label on the guard. And you have two warning labels on the fence that you need to read. One is directly above the blade or the cutter head. and the other is off the outfeed table. You need to read all those warning labels before you start using the machine. You should reread the warning labels each time you use a machine in the shop. Before you turn the machine on, you need to open up the blast gate the blast gate is located right behind the joiner. Open it up and then the dust system will be allowed to take those shavings up and out. To turn the machine on, we go down to the red off switch, give it a quarter turn, it'll pop back out, and then we can push the green button to start the machine.
We should always wait for the machine to come to a complete stop before walking away from any machine in the shop. As you run your workpiece through the machine, you go at a nice, even pace. Please refer to the owner's manual to see the exact speed that you should work. We need to use extreme caution when joining lumber that's shorter than the fence. We need to make sure we use the correct safety equipment, such as our push sticks, to help us guide our work through the joiner safely. Make sure that your workpiece has at least 12 inches in length. And remember, we never run stock through the machine against the grain or run the end grain through the machine. We only run lumber and stock with the grain. If you do not know how to use a machine in the shop, please ask for help.